HPV stands for human papillomavirus, and it's a very uh, common virus that virtually all of us are exposed to. It's estimated that about 80% of us will have uh, um, a genital uh, exposure to HPV at some point in our life. So it's really just part of being human to have an exposure to this virus at some point in your life. So having a viral infection, um, this type of viral infection, HPV, really doesn't cause uh, symptoms in the vast majority of people. And in fact, the types that are associated with cancer don't cause warts and don't cause any symptoms. We've had for many years screening for cervical cancer and cervical precancer. Now that it's been known and well established now that HPV is the cause of cervical cancer, the tests now are to pick up these specific types of HPV that are at risk for women to, call, to develop cancer. They have adopted this screening program for many groups of men who have a risk for anal cancer. So those men essentially undergo screening to pick up HPV and to pick up precancer before it develops into invasive cancer. For throat cancer, we are developing a screening study for men, typically men in their 50s and 60s. And we have a clinical trial open at this institution that screens men uh, for oropharynx cancer utilizing a, uh, a novel blood test and a novel test of, uh, of oral rinse. It's called the Houston Study, and we're very excited about this opportunity to develop screening uh, for throat cancer for men. We have an opportunity, not for our generation, but for our children's generation, to eliminate these cancers related to HPV. Um, if we can simply vaccinate our children to HPV, we should eliminate these cancers.